Hello, I'm Scott Simon. Welcome you live from Sacramento, California. May 13th, 2017. 217 in the afternoon. Perfect day to talk about sales. And I, I want to share something with you. Sometimes you just have to be the bigger person. Sometimes you just have to let things go. Now, I know that through training people that if you have time, effort, or energy involved in anything, it's really easy to be rejected. And I also know that sometimes you, <laughs> you and me, we have scumbag buyers and they create a lot of problems for ourselves. So I'm gonna give you a couple of examples. So I'm working with a sales guy a couple of weeks ago, really good at what he does, but things get under his skin really easily. So he met with a buyer, the buyer didn't like the way they were presented, so he wrote a bad review on one of the online sites. It's a four letter word, okay? So it really threw the salesperson off. It really caused some problems for them because he couldn't just walk away from it. He had time, energy, and effort wrapped up into it. I totally understand that, right? But in order for him to get back on selling, he just needed to be the bigger person to let it go, right? So second example I'm gonna give you. I'm on a lot of online forums and I talk a lot on Facebook with people and you know, there's times where people ask a question and I jump in and I give an answer and sometimes people don't like the answer that I give for whatever reason, like they don't believe it, uh, they're just mean to everybody, they, they don't like the world, they're having a bad day and you know, they try to engage and they try to like, they talk their trash and you know, for me, it's not a good productive use of my time, so I just disengage, I pull back, I'm like, hmm, I'm just gonna be the bigger person, I'm gonna walk away and I'm gonna focus on my goals and I'm gonna go look at doing something different instead of getting caught up in whatever this feud is online because anybody can be a keyboard warrior, like, right? And they're typing away and they're saying a bunch of mean stuff. But I gotta tell you, if you get caught up in that, that negativity of either a buyer, um, somebody online or even somebody in your office, right? It could be somebody in your office that's a hater that's causing a bunch of problems. If you get caught up in that negativity, it's gonna be really ugly and it's gonna be really really tough for you to keep on, on top. So I was a part of a forum right around Christmas time of, of this year, so like five months ago, and I saw where like the evolution was going. It was becoming very negative. It was becoming very acidic and uh, very problematic. And you know, it's really easy to get caught up and wanna be able to, you know, throw some snaps at people or, you know, say some, some things that could be I don't mean for lack of better terms, it can, it can be really easy to get caught up in that. But the problem is, is by you doing that and getting caught up on it online, you start doing it in real life. And I know somebody who was in that group personally and they started really struggling in the sales process because they became very negative and very acidic with the people that they were meeting with, okay? So sometimes you just gotta learn to be the bigger person and walk away and it really doesn't matter what industry you're in. It could be that you're in sales, it could be that you're an entrepreneur, it could be that you're not in, involved in any of that. It's just, it's really easy to get caught up in it. So you know what? It's really cool to talk trash to somebody and prove your point right and just like, hey, I'm really good at what I do and I can say some mean stuff back. But at the other time, right, how much energy are you using? How much are you exerting by talking that trash and pushing somebody? It's Sometimes it's not worth it. I'd say 99.9% .9 of the times it's not worth it. And sometimes you just gotta be the bigger person, right? There's plenty of times where people have wanted to fight with me online and say a bunch of mean stuff. I just disengage. Too many other things to do, too many other things to focus on, goals. I was just trying to help. I gave some information, person didn't like it. Time for me to say, hey, that's a form of rejection. I, they're not my buyer. They're not the person I should be dealing with. And if it's a buyer that you're meeting with, and they start talking trash on your company. There is an extent that you got to defend yourself, but there's also a point where you got to realize this person's not my buyer. They're not the person that I should be working with. They're not the person that I should be selling to. It's time for me to biggie bounce out of here. See you later. Peace out, Girl Scout. I'm done. And, and take off, right? There is a point in the sales process where you got to make the decision that the person is not the right person for you to meet with. There's a, there's a point in a personal relationship, whether it's online or physical, right, face to face, that you got to make the decision that I'm just going to be the bigger person and I'm going to bounce on out of here and I'm going to get off my life, right? One of the coolest things, one of the best lessons that you can learn because it takes all the negativity away. It keeps you from getting caught up in things you don't need to get caught up in because negative people, this is one thing you really need to know, negative people are attracted to other negative people and it's like, it's like a really fast, huge magnet of a negative people pool if that's a technical term cool if not just go with it all right now if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below leave a comment question or story that'd be fantastic to the right to the left there is a subscribe button you know what you got to do you got to subscribe and then last of all you can send it out to all your friends via stumble upon facebook twitter google plus why not even linkedin scott Bell. we'll see you soon thanks for watching aloha